music to my ears. <laughs> Sounds like good old fashioned American muscle. Amen. Finally, car season. The Valley's largest car collector auction, Barrett Jackson, revs up this weekend after it was postponed back in January due to COVID. Jamming this morning with the engines revving. The event typically attracts hundreds of thousands of people from all across the country. Uh, yeah, my family being one of them. And while the auction has the green light to go ahead with the event, things, of course, will look different. Everything does this year. Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us live from Westworld of Scottsdale. So, Mitch, what do folks need to know before they head out there this weekend? Good morning, Ryan and Trisha. Well, first of all, what you need to know is they tell me that this is the same Barrett Jackson auto auction that you're going to be used to. There are some changes, though. They're at 15% capacity. Everybody has to wear a mask, and they really want you to buy your tickets online and not to come here and congregate in line to buy tickets. So that's some of the safety measures. But we have a very special treat today. You've heard of Barrett Jackson? Well. Here's Jackson. This is Craig Jackson of Barrett Jackson. He's so passionate about this auto auction and specifically this Carol Shelby Cobra Super Snake that he was watching us on TV and came down here to tell us all about it. So Mr. Jackson, please take it away. What are we looking at here? This is a piece of history, right? It is. So this is Carol Shelby's personal Super Snake and it has a great story. On the banner over there is the quote from uh, when, when it was in road and track and they tested the car in 1968, the Cobra to end all Cobras, Carroll Shelby's personal car. The car next to it, the Ferrari, really ties into this car. He had just come home from winning Le Mans, 1966. This car had been on a promotional tour with a couple other cars, another comp car and two other Mustang race cars. When it came home, he went on his normal run up to Tahoe and another 427 Cobra up to Tahoe, and the Ferrari beat him. So the Ferrari was faster than him, and he said, this will not stand. It will not stand. So his uh, attorney and friend, uh, he uh, came back to beat him, and he came back, and uh, we actually found and interviewed the guy that built the car for him, Lance. And he told Lance, take that comp car, put two blowers on it, automatic transmission for me, and I want a car that can uh, go beat my friend. It has a special hood on it. They built two of these. Uh, the other one no longer exists. And this was Carol's personal car. And, and so this thing was sold at auction, I, I was told, uh, in 2007, and then again in, I think, 2015. Yes. It's gone for five and a half million. I think the last time it sold, how, what, are we what are you thinking that this is going to go for this time? You know, I don't want to put a limit on it, but to have Carol Shelby's personal car and now to have more people aware of who Carol Shelby was, what he was, and to have his personal car, it's a piece of history, and it's really the best car that we have of Shelby's that has brought another whole array of Shelby Mustangs and other prototype cars. This is going to be one of the greatest selections. This is the cherry on top. There is only one Carroll Shelby Super Snake. The quote over here from his attorney, it ate my Ferrari alive. His attorney said when it hit 140 miles an hour, it exploded up to 190 miles an hour. That's amazing, 190 miles per hour. And if you're not familiar with Carroll Shelby, these Shelby Cobras, the Ferrari, you might have heard of the movie Ford versus Ferrari with Matt Damon and Christian Bale. That is Carroll Shelby, the Matt Damon character. And how do we know it's his? Well, he signed the engine block in here. And he also signed the dashboard. We have great footage of him up on the auction block when we sold it the first time and telling the stories of uh, going across Nevada. He put it in a race across Nevada, an open race, and that's where they clocked him doing 190 miles an hour. That's so. amazing. Well, this is Craig Jackson of Barrett Jackson and the Barrett Jackson Auto Show, the auction, the uh, Super Bowl of auto auctions. Well, that begins tomorrow. It runs through next week. Cars will start rolling on the auction block on Tuesday. And again, there are some considerations for the pandemic and for your safety. So make sure you go online and you find those and make sure you come prepared. Back to you.